What's up? This is Squirt2440. We're following Sunny to Sound Team Auto View. Today we'll be taking a look at Ford Bronco, a few Ford pickup trucks, a few Ford brush trucks, Ford Ambulance, Pierce Fire Engine, Western Star Dump Truck, Kenmore Semi, and a Low Boy. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a 1975 Ford Bronco. Very nicely done. It is pretty small scale. Up on you guys can see the Ford logo there in red. Really nice headlights here. You guys can see chrome bumper as you do come around to the side. Race red with a white top, which is pretty cool. Giant wheels over here. You guys can see small single exhaust right out of the right side. Now, this vehicle does have a few animations, which is pretty cool. We'll be hopping here on the inside of the UE. This does go 124 miles per hour. Take a look at all of the lights. They all do work on this, which is pretty cool. When you do press keypad 9, the hood does go up. Keypad 8 will open up the doors, and X will open up open up the back hatch which is pretty cool and drop that you guys can see very high quality interior which is pretty nice we'll close all of these up hop here on the first person view it does have working mirrors working steering wheel and forking gauges this thing does look pretty cool and it was released by Winston which is pretty cool I really do appreciate all of the modders for releasing these pretty epic mods we're here on the square farms map for our weekly mod reviews now which is nice we did switch now from the platinum DLC to this map and this map I will be releasing by the end of this month or very early next month, which is pretty cool. You guys can see the handling on this is very good. No body roll, anything like that. It is a bit of a smaller scale, but it still is a very nice vehicle. And you guys can see great exhaust particles. Everything about it does look pretty cool. Cool. So we'll be hopping out of this, and next up we'll be taking a look at a, a lot of mods released by r, &R Apparatus on Facebook. Big shout out goes to him for releasing this Ford, and all of the fire vehicles we'll be taking a look at today. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a 2017 Ford F-250 XLT Extended Cab Long Bed. This is color changeable, very high quality model, awesome wheels. You guys can see great exhaust, bumper pull hitch, and you guys can see take a look that it does have a bed line which is cool toolbox and a headache rack and I mean this thing just overall looks pretty cool you guys can see up front very nicely done here on the grill you guys can see super duty there in the hood once we hop here on the inside view this goes 75 miles per hour you guys can see all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool up front you guys can see all of those do work now on the inside view you guys can see very high quality interior uh, view working steering wheel no working mirrors or gauges but this is probably one of the best interior Interiors I've ever seen in farming simulator. Very high quality, guys can see. Pretty realistic, super duty, especially for 2018 2017 model year. They both are very similar. So, you guys can see great job there. And this truck is pretty fast 75 miles per hour top speed. And this thing does look pretty cool. And up next, we'll be taking a look at an F 250 Chief truck. Very similar. This one just has some graphics here on the side. It's C40 Rock City Fire Department, which is pretty cool. And this does of LED strobe lights all the way around. LED light bar up top and overall, like I was saying, very similar trucks, just that this is mainly for the Chief truck. So as you guys can see, with B and and M on it, the keypad, you guys can see all of the lights do turn on. Everything is the same as the other one, it, just that it's a different color and it has the emergency lights. Keypad 7 will turn the wheel on. Keypad 8 will turn the Yelp on and Keypad 9 will turn the Federal Q on and the horn. So as you guys can see, overall, very nicely done. We'll take this for a spin to see how this handles. I did feature a few of the other mods here in this pack earlier on in this week, and I really do appreciate him for releasing these. The Fire Rescue series here on my channel is pretty popular, and I really do enjoy doing it. You guys can see a few cones there in the back also, but very nice handling. You guys can see no body roll, anything like that, and this thing really does get around fast, which is nice. We'll be turning this off, turning all of the lights off, and up next, we'll be taking can look at another 2017 F-250 XLT just that this has a brush bed here on the back. Take a look at those dually wheels. That's pretty cool. Very high quality bed. You guys can see all the different things needed. Hoses and all the toolboxes. Everything like that. Even like a step over here. Water tank there. Very cool. B71. And it does have the same interior. Everything like that. I really do like these wheels. I've actually been using these wheels on a few other of my trucks. But we'll take a look at all the lights. It does have all of the same sirens. And you can fill this up with water and use a hose on it. Which is pretty cool. Very high quality. Nice first 
first person view just like the other ones and same handling line it does look like. So overall, like I was saying, big shout out to r, &R Apparatus for releasing these. I do recommend you go check out his Facebook page, give him a like and show some great support. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a 2011 Ford F550 brush truck crew cab. This is pretty cool. Guys, since the upgraded front bumper here, very nicely done here on the textures on all of the fire vehicles. You guys can see the same brush bed here on the back, which is pretty cool. Like I was saying, you will have to fill this up with water to use those hoses. Once we hop here on the inside view, you guys can see all of the lights do work. Now, take a look at this first person view. Very nicely done, Super Duty interior, and it's a crew cab, which is pretty cool for having multiple firefighters come along, which is nice. Now, like I was saying, same handling line pretty much, and overall, very nicely done. I can't wait to put these to work. I do recommend you go check out the video getting these for the fire station. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a 2017 Ford F-250 XOT Ambulance. I did do a few reviews on his other ambulances, but this one is a 2017 model year, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see very nicely done. You can walk here on the inside of you just like the others. And I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. I'm excited to have this new body style here in Farming Simulator. As extended cabs, I mean, Super Duty Modding actually made a single cab version, which is nice. But you guys can see this is overall very nicely done. I do like the lights on this, everything like this. And you guys can see all of the lights do work here. Now, the sirens are the same on all of them. It, that's why I'm not really testing them out, just because they're all the same. But you guys can see very nicely down here on the ambulance. All of the lights work, reverse lights, everything like that. And this thing really does look awesome. Up next in the final emergency vehicle we'll be taking a look at today is Engine 70. This is a Piers flat top, which is pretty cool. Very nicely done. Take a look at those wheels. Very realistic, very high quality wheels and great job on the textures. Now there is Bible Chrome if you do want it or you could have the other type of Chrome, which is probably for lower end computers. We'll be hopping here on the inside. Now this does have the same sirens, everything like that, but K and all of these different ones you guys can see turn on these sirens which is pretty cool. Really do like a lot and these do have some great lights. So take a look at all of those lights. You have the spinning thing up front and I mean this thing does look pretty cool. And then in the back you guys can see B will turn on that yellow strip for traffic and overall this is pretty cool. On the first person view working steering wheel and very nice high quality interior. I already did a review on a very similar truck so we won't be taking this for a spin but you guys can see great job overall. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Western Star Dump Truck, which is very nice. It is color changeable. I really do like the wheels on it. You guys can see step gas tank over there. Take off those tri-axle wheels here in the back. No bumper pull hitch, but it does have lights in it, which is pretty cool. We'll be hopping here on the inside view. It goes 149 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a dump truck. And take off that two beacon lights. I really do like the look of this truck. When you do press control, I will unload it. You guys can see all the lights. Giant hydraulic lights which is pretty cool and on the first person view take a look at this very high quality I mean that thing does look pretty cool we'll definitely take this for a spin see how this thing handles like we're saying guys top suit at 149 miles per hour which is pretty cool take a look at that really does kind of get up to speed pretty fast and that is actually really uh, realistic to kind of get up to speed going a little bit slower but overall like I was saying we're here on the square farms map you guys have been showing some great support here on the map and I can't wait to feature it here in more videos. I've been featuring almost all of my weekly videos here on this map. I am trying to feature different ones also map wise but I mean this is one epic map and I can't wait to share with all of you guys later on this month or early next month. Up next we'll be taking a look at an old Kenworth semi truck. You guys can see it's a day cab. There is a variety of skins you could purchase when you do get it and I just chose a cat skin. You guys can see pretty cool. I might change this to Square Farms Caterpillar since we do have a cat dealer here on the Square Farms map, but take a look at that, guys. Very nicely done. You guys can see great wheel textures, no bumper pull hitch, and just overall, this thing looks awesome. The frame of this looks very cool. I think it would actually be pretty cool to turn this into a wrecker. That would be a pretty cool old wrecker. You guys can see very nicely done. Now, the hitch does slot on it, which is pretty cool. You guys can 
see it actually has upgraded lights, LED lights, which is pretty cool. One reverse light back there. Up front, all of these lights do work, which is nice. And then on the first person view, you guys, since working steering wheel, working mirrors, and working gauges, I mean, this view looks awesome. And while we are in this truck, we'll be taking a look at this brand new uh, trailer, which is pretty cool. It's a semi-trailer, Trail King, and it's pretty much a little boy, which is pretty cool. These ramp actually folds out, so we'll definitely attach to it. And let's take a look at this trailer. This is the first time I'm uh, kind of attaching to it and taking a look at it. So as you guys can see, when you do press a V, as you guys can see, we did fold up the first part. Then when you do press X, take a look at that, guys. The back comes down. Whoa, that does look pretty cool. Take a look at this trailer. I mean, very cool animations, and that's nice how you could kind of park up here. Some of them you aren't allowed to. And then back here, you guys can see, take a look at that. That is pretty cool. Very nice wheels here. And overall, one pretty nice trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review here on the Square Farms map. All of the links can be found down below in the description. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.